The other special right triangle that's worth memorizing the values for is the 30-60-90 triangle. Um, 30-60-90 triangle, of course, is called that because of the, the angles. So if we draw a quick sketch of one here, of course, this is, you know, just a guesstimate, but we get the idea. It looks a little like this. 30-60-90 um, will have a 30-degree angle, a 60-degree angle, and a 90-degree angle. And with the 30, 60, 90, if the shortest side is x units long, then the middle side is x roots of 3 units long, and the long side is 2x units long. And that's pretty slick because any 30, 60, 90 triangle always has that same ratio. So if you happen to know the long side, um, let's say, for example, that the long side is, oh, I don't know, 8 units long. Yeah? Well, since the long side is 2x units long, if the long one is 8, then the short one would be half of that, or, you know, that divided by 2, so that would be 4 units long, and then the medium side would be 8, well, 4, sorry, x, 4 units times root 3, or 4 roots of 3 units long. And we don't have to do any other calculations at all. We just know what the comparisons are, so we can just take any one of the sides and multiply its Multiply, multiply, easy for me to say, right? Multiply it by the comparison between its uh, its dimension and the other two. If, for instance, we know the short side, let's say, for example, that the short side is 6 units long. If the short side is 6, well, then the long side is just twice that, it's 12, and the medium side would be 6 roots of 3. And if we know the medium side, that's the hardest one, really. If we know the medium side and we say it's, so oh, I don't know, 9 units long, then we take 9 and divide it by the square root of 3, so this one would be 9 over, <clears throat> excuse me, root 3, and we'd simplify that, multiplying top and bottom by root 3, and that would give us the root 3's here would, root 3 times root 3 would be 3 on the denominator, 9 roots of 3 on the numerator, and since 9 and 3 reduce, we'd end up with 3 roots of 3. So our, our uh, small side then would be 3 roots of 3, and our large side would be twice that, or 6 roots of 3. So the only one that really has any math involved with calculating it is if you only know the middle side, because you have to divide whatever you get by root 3 in order to get it to match the short side. The others are very, very simple comparisons. And we're going to do a couple examples of each in the example problems. So let's uh, head on down there and take a look at them.